Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. Ah, fuck. Hi, Detective. Hi, Supervisor. Why did you hang up on me? Huh? We were talking just a moment ago about a new case. The one at Warlock Woods, right? Yeah. I hung up because I got so excited about solving another mystery. That's understandable. What can you tell me about this new case? It's a doozy, Detective. Hold on to your hat. Supervisor, you know I can't wear hats. Sorry. Anyway. Warlock- oh, sorry, fuck. Warlock Woods is a fairly small town up north. They don't get many visitors around there. A couple days ago, a new resident moved in. Shy kinda gal. Doesn't like to be the center of attention. Anyway, she settles into this new house and doesn't go outside to greet anyone. The residents of the town feel like they need to welcome her properly, so they organize a welcoming par parade. <clears throat> a welcoming parade. Great idea! Absolutely. But someone in the town seemed to think otherwise. Last night, the parade decorations were destroyed. What? I know, right? So rude. Nobody has any leads on this case. They don't know who done it. That's where you come in, detective. That's me! I'm the detective! I'm aware. Warlock Woods is a magic town, so it's not the easiest place to get to. You'll need to take on the enchanted cutwayo. Hold up. Okay. You'll need to take an enchanted cart to the end of the line, and then travel the rest of your way on foot. Too easy! You'll need to question everybody to get the bottom to get to the bottom of things. You think you can solve the mystery? Hmm. Yep. Great. Hop to it. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I forgot to mention. The new resident of the woods is special. She's invisible. Ah! That was loud. And a wizard. And no, I'm not yelling it. <laughs> Invisible wizard. Cool! Uh, what's the relevance of her being invisible? Nobody knows what she looks like, so they're excited to find out. Hence the parade, the decorations, and the celebrations. They want her to be uninvisible. De-invisibled! Uh, visible! Exactly. Anyway, do you have everything you need? Um, I have my shoes, my jumper, my pants. I think I'm missing something. Your magnifying glass. Of course! It's on the table next to the door. Once you pick it up, you'll be ready to solve the mystery. Thanks, Supervisor. Good luck, Detective. <clears throat> if people throw a parade to try and shame me into interacting with them, I'd mess that shit up too, right? I bet you that is the case. I bet you it is that, like... Ah, my trusty magnifying glass. I can't solve mysteries without it. Well, maybe I could, but I wouldn't want to. Whoa, everything looks so crazy. Insane. Look at that handsome fella. Larry! Oh my god! Oh my god, he's the best cop in the business! Oh, it's not Larry. Ah, uh, it's the famous frog detective. Famous? I'm not famous. Aha, uh -huh. perhaps not. But I'm sure you will be soon. Wow. I don't... What brings you to my office, detective? Well, I was just leaving my office, actually. I work next door. Right here. Oh, I thought that was a cupboard. No, that's my office. I've been putting all my cleaning supplies in there. Yes, I've noticed. I'm in there working every time you do it. I even say, this is my office, and then you say, sure it is, little cleaning frog. And then, sure it is, little cleaning frog. <laughs> and then I say, I'm a crime-solving frog, not a cleaning, not a cleaning frog. But usually, <laughs> fuck. But usually you're gone already. 
Excuse my ignorance, detective. I wasn't trying to offend. I'm a very busy boy and head full of mysteries. Sometimes I forget to be polite. I'm was if I was polite all the time, I would never have to solve my crimes. Oh, I was sorry. I would never have time to solve my crimes. I understand. Maybe that's why I'm not as talented as you, Lobster Cop. Perhaps, but detective, you must keep trying. Never give up. I can tell you some tips if you'd like. Wow. Yes, please. Tip number one, pay attention. You should make sure you're looking at things and paying attention to the words. Yes, quite right. Tip number two, everyone is a suspect. Even you. I will suspect myself much more from now on. Good call. Tip number three, carry a notebook. Oh, I'm not really big on books. They are, without exception, factually, factually inaccurate. Detective, don't be foolish. A book you... <laughs> A book you write yourself cannot be factually inaccurate if you are writing facts. I suppose you're right. I don't have a notebook, though. Well, it's your lucky day. I have a spare notebook on my desk. You can decorate it and use it all you like. Wow. Really? Yep. There are stickers you can use, too. I bought them with my crime-solving money. Oh, I'll let you get to it, detective. Head to my office, and when you're ready to decorate... Oh, wait. Head to my office when you're ready to decorate. Okay. Thanks, Lobster Cop. I feel like, where's this douche's office, though? Oh, is it... Oh, you know what? I guess this is his office. Go figure. All right. All right. Ah. Huh. Which stickers should I pick? And where should they go? Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay. So obviously, we got to have a little fella down there. Have to be like that. I don't, I don't know if it'll let me just put him like right there. But you can never go wrong with some alien. Perfect. It's a mess. Wait, 
Wait, hold on. Gotta make sure we got everything here. Oh, there we go. We'll make the plant an inspector too. Now it's perfect. There's, no, there can't be one for using all the stickers. I don't think so. No, 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 no. Okay, good. I didn't think so, but... I knew one of them was kind of, like, completion-based. Alright. <clears throat> Beautiful. How's your book decorated coming? <clears throat> it's right there on the desk, you know. I know. Just taking my time is all. Well, I haven't got all day. Just kidding. I do have all day. Take as long as you need. I did. Okay, I guess that's all I have to do with him then. Oh my god, I think it's just the three of us that work here. So I'm the second best cop out of two. <clears throat> that sounds about right. Oh shit, okay, hold up. <clears throat> About damn time. That Susan cat she reminds me of a girl I used to date back in the day.
Warlock Woods. I have to say, I have never heard of this place. I was still on for Yuri on Ash tomorrow. You better bet your sweet ass. I'm off tomorrow. I'll let you know when I wake up from my slumber. <clears throat> Got lots of questioning to do here. Ah, who's that? Susan! What you got to say, Susan? Oh, my stars, it's you. It's me. The famous lobster cop. I really thought you'd be a lobster. Ah, no, I'm a frog. Yeah, why is your name Lobster Cop? I have to tell you something. I am not Lobster Cop. <clears throat> Or oh, then why in Sam hell did she invite you here? <clears throat> why not? I don't know how to answer that. Who are you? I'm the detective. Uh, frog detective. I see. Was Lobster Cop not available? Unfortunately not. Well, I think you'll do just fine. Thanks. I'm Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi. I'm the one that contacted the agency, and I think you'll find excludes me from being a suspect. Oh, I didn't know that was how it worked. <clears throat> oh, yes, absolutely. You, you, should, you should know these things, detective. I'm sorry. It's okay. I still think you should question me, though. To remove all doubt. Okay. Question me all you like. So, about last night. Where were you on the night in question? <clears throat> I was at home knitting a jumper for the wizard. Really? Yeah, I picked out all the colors myself and everything. Though I'll admit it was a bit hard to focus on the knitting. Why is that? I get so distracted by the wool. It's so fun to play with. I play with it so much that I unravel the whole thing and it goes everywhere. It's a big nuisance. Oh my god, get it? It's because she's a cat. I understand. But I was concentrating on knitting so much that I didn't notice the destruction of the parade. I'm sorry. And <clears throat> did you notice anything at all? <clears throat> Talking in all these voices is really f causing havoc on my throat. Hmm. Now that I think of it, I saw a big van out there near the entrance of the war to Warlock Woods. It didn't drive in or I would have heard it. Don't worry about it at the time of course. Didn't worry about it at the time of course. And that's all I remember. Sorry. No worries. Question me all you like. Alright, the wizard. Tell me about him. Do you, do you, fuck, do you know the wizard personally? Nobody knows her personally. Well, not here at least. Not me. Right. But I had a lot to do with the organization of the parade, and I was the one to start with the investigation. You mentioned that. It was worth bringing up again. So you were fine with her moving to the town? Absolutely. That old house has been empty for years, and it's really nice someone wants to live there. It needs a lot of fixing up, but it'll look nice soon, I think. Plus, it's always exciting to have a new neighbor. Sure is. I put up a sign I made for the wizard... But it got knocked down last night. I'm feeling pretty sad about it, if I'm honest. I know you're here trying to solve the mystery, but I just need to tell you how I feel. You can talk to me about it. Thank you. I'm not a professional sign maker, yet, but I worked really hard on that sign. Really, I struggled to understand why someone would knock it down. It feels so heartless, and now I'm not sure who to trust. I thought everyone here would be thrilled to have a new neighbor. It's a tricky situation for sure. Some people are overprotective of their communities. <clears throat> and think new people are going to change things for the worse. But that's almost never the case. New people make places better because they bring new perspectives, especially in small communities. Hopefully it's just a misunderstanding or mistake. I'd like to, be I like to believe that people are good. That being said, I'm treating everyone as a suspect. But not me, right? Even you. Especially you. Especially me? Oh, no. Sorry. Not sure why I said that, but you're not off the hook just yet. Hook. That's it. Detective, could you please find me a hook? 
If I could hang this, I could hang the sign back up with it. Oh, okay. I'll do my best. I think she's just, yeah, it's just the hook. Okay. Alrighty. Oh man, wearing sunglasses indoors like that and then and then taking them off is wild. Hello, little frog. I'm Ralph. Why are you yelling? I'm just making sure you can hear me. I can hear you. You don't have to yell. You're very small. Might be difficult for you to hear. I'm small, but I am also very close to you. Being small isn't the same as being far away. Are you sure? Oh, sorry. You can hear me at this volume? <clears throat> yes. Weird. I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the mystery. Really? Yes. But you're so small. I'm of average frog height. Hmm. Can I ask you some questions about the case? Questioning me? Huh? About your eye. May I ask why you have an eye patch? That's rough business. Oh. It'd be really good for me to know why you have an eye patch. Sometimes a boy just wants to wear an eye patch. I'm gonna make him sound like Cookie Monster. That don't make me suspicious. Yeah, you just put it on for fashion? Kind of. Detective, I don't want to get this into too much. But I watched a movie last night about pirates. And I loved it. And there's another three left. Three whole movies! Can you believe it? Sequels? I never heard of a movie having a sequel before. I know, right? Usually sequels are reserved for video games. Yes, it is extremely normal to have a video game sequel, especially for games with large audiences like the Toad Investigation series. Yeah, anyway, I was watching the pirate movie last night. That's where I was. And for that reason, I've decided to wear an eye patch. Okay, I'll leave it at that. My thanks. How do you feel about the wizard moving in? Hmm. It's nothing against wizard, but I've been living with my friend Carlos for a while now, and our space is big, but I would really like my own house. Oh! <clears throat> I have been eyeing that of the old house for ages. I thought maybe I'd move in one day, but the wizard got there first. I see. It's my fault, I guess. I shouldn't hold it against wizard. Hmm. I mean, if I paraphrase, it's for the sake of speech. This house is twice as big as all the other houses. Maybe you could renovate it and turn it into two houses. You could split it down the middle. Or have one house upstairs and one house downstairs. <clears throat> like an apartment. That's a pretty good idea. I like Carlos and everything, but I'm a private boy. I understand. And I don't have any renovation supplies, though. Hmm. I'll see if I can track some down for you. Thanks for your help, detective. Maybe if I do a good job, I can get my own building show. I'm excited to see it. What does he exactly need, though? He just said ideal building supplies. You'll know it when you see it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> He's a private boy. It's in his notes.
Hmm. Huh? Who are you? A detective. Oh. I thought Lobster Cop was coming. Huh? What? You say something about Lobster Cop? No. But I heard... This frog read my mind. Why are you speaking like that? Like what? Like this. Whoa! Is this what telepathy is? You can... Can you hear this frog? You're saying everything out loud. Wow, this frog has a temper. Anyway, who are you? I'm Naughty. Okay. I'm the mayor of Warlock Woods. Okay. What is it? Was it you that asked for me to come? No. I would have asked for a lobster cup. I really need to emphasize that I can hear you. Stop listening. Okay. Can I ask you some questions about the case? I guess so. Tell me what you want to know. So how do you feel about the wizard coming to live here? Uh, oh heck, how do I answer this? Well, I'm happy she's here, but that house has been empty for ages. I didn't, and I didn't know she was coming, right? Nobody told me, you see. Aren't you the mayor? I think so, anyway. She kind of came at a weird time of night, and I, well, thought that she was a ghost. Oh, yeah, it was a bit messy. Oh, I tried to vacuum her up. <laughs> nice. With a vacuum. I put it on the highest setting. Just really went to town with a vacuum. I think I really freaked her out. And now she won't come out of her house. Um, please don't put me in jail. You're not going to jail. Jail isn't real. But you should probably apologize. Okay, sorry, detective. I mean to the wizard. Right, yeah. That's why I was helping with the parade. To apologize. But she hasn't been out of her house. Also, the parade is ruined. I see. This makes me sound really bad. I swear, I wanted the parade to be lovely. As the mayor of the town... I booked a live band to play a song, but as you can see, the stage is gross and ruined now. The band is on their way, and I have no time to fix it. They're on a—they're a very famous band, and I want—and I want to be as professional as possible. If only I had a rug or something I could use, I could cover up this mess. But the town is disarray—the town is in disarray, and I don't have time to crack this one down. Thank you for your concern. If you happen to find anything, please let me know. Okay. Uh, question about—hang on. Last night. What can you tell me about last night? Nothing. Oh, but I can tell you about the wizard. I know basically everything there is to know about her. That's great. First of all, she's a wizard. Uh-huh. And she's invisible. Great. And she just moved in. Uh-huh. And that's it, right? She's a wizard. Yep. I think you mentioned that. No, I don't think I did. Right. Okay. Sorry. It's fine. Anyway. All right. Let's see what she needs. A rug, okay. Thinks I can read minds, I can't. You're the detective, right? I'm Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Careful where you step, detective. There's mess everywhere. I'm used to mess. Lucky you, I'm not. My shoes are brand new. I can't get them dirty. Why don't you change shoes? Detective, are you joking? I can't wear flats with this look. The proportions would be all wrong. Besides, these shoes are enchanted. Oh? I'm one of the few actual witches here in Warlock Woods. Most of the folk are just fans of the spooky, which is fine at all, which means a lot to the, but it means a lot of cleaning work will be mine to do. Wait, a lot of the cleaning work. I should have never learned that tidying spell. It shouldn't take too long for me to clean up this mess, but first I'll need to find all my pies. What happened to your pies? Same thing that happened everywhere. Someone thought it'd be funny and knocked them all over. It's so annoying. I spent ages making them. I see. Well, <clears throat> do you mind if I ask you some questions? Where were you last night? Doing heaps of push-ups and getting ripped. Just kidding. I was on whizbay.net. Where the magic happens, TM. What were you doing? Bidding on some new shoes. 
but you just got these ones. Yeah, but the ones I was bidding on would go super well with this blue dress that I have. Wow, cool. I know. I didn't win, though. Who got the shoes? Not sure. All I know is their screen name. Someone called Dizzy Wizzy 109 Sorry to hear it. How, do you f <laughs> How did you feel when you lost? A bit defeated. I went for a midnight stroll to cool off, but then I saw something in the distance. It was a pretty foggy night, so I couldn't see much, but they were carrying a large box. I couldn't see what they looked like, but they were definitely not from here, and I felt like they were waiting for someone. I didn't think much of it, and I went home. Hmm. Did you hear any noise after that? No, my house is soundproof. Ever since Mary has taken up to s singing, it's kind of a necessity around here. I only saw the mess this morning. Interesting. Tell me what you want to know about the pies. You need help finding your pies? Yes, detective, seriously. I seriously need help. Straight up, I cannot see anything right now. These glasses are so dark, it's unreal. I'm such a dingus. This town is literally cloaked in eternal night. Why did I think sunglasses would be a good idea? They weren't a good idea. However, I don't regret it. They make me look amazing. Do you think I look amazing? Yep. Thanks. I do too. Worst purchase I ever made in terms of practicality, but it brings a look it brings this look to a whole new level. I might be a dingus, but I'm a very stylish dingus. What were we talking about? My outfit? No, before that. Pies! Right! You offered to pick up my pies. I'm missing quite a few. Could you bring them to me? I'd be happy to clean them up and give you one as payment. Okay, sounds like fun. Hey, thanks, detective. She has five pies. Schooled me about fashion, fair enough. Oh yeah, it said something about Lost Pies to Carlos. By the way, I'm kind of getting- my voice is kind of going out, so I'm gonna ease up on the reading. Oh my god, yes, my name is Crime, though. Oh my god, they say that he solved the mystery of the haunted island. This guy is pretty oblivious for... Like, this town's not huge. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> this conversation is a roller coaster of information. So the house that they moved into is just next door. Okay, so he wants a party hat. It's Victor we need to give the lost pie to, not Car. What the fuck is that plant? What plant? shop hang on oh my god it's that fucking bug from the first game that's gotta be like the dev or someone they know Well, I found the deer. All right. A little bit, but I'm on the case. Oh, cool. I'm Victor. Who are you? The detective. Is that your real name? Yep, definitely. Why, let me give you the pie. Do it. He doesn't know any. Like, it doesn't seem that like anybody knows anything about the wizard, though. What am I supposed to do when people are boring? I'm not sure, but probably don't tell them it would hurt their feelings. Yeah, no kidding. He's suspicious because he has an eye patch.
One money. Okay, we need two more monies. Give the pie. <laughs> I found it on the ground. Sorry, detective. You have to speak up. These tub jets are very loud. I do not want to eat a ground pie. Oh no. He's visiting from out of town. There we go. I don't think he needs anything unless he actually wants a pie. Nope, yeah, he just wants something to eat. Okay. <laughs> Perhaps only rude just because of hunger, but maybe just rude in general. Yeah, I don't like you. We've talked to everybody except for the rhinos. Then we can get the pies back here. Yeah, money. And then there's the pie for the deer. Nice. Okay, and even stamps it. Amazing baker. <laughs> nice. We write more notes. I like that. Okay. Oh. Home. Sounds like someone's inside, but I'll come back another time. And there was that... Dude. Is that supposed to be like the dev's character or something? Show yourself! <laughs> he's nice now that he's full nice should give something for me. Yes a party hat, please One thing I like about this is that it seems to be pretty like circuitous like you get like the other people give this you the stuff that you want Go No notes we didn't like say whether or not it was just hunger Uh, oh, Frick who wanted the party hat? Fix the sign, building supplies, a rug. Party hat was Carlos.
Guess way. That's epic. Oh, good, he gave us the money. Okay, now we can buy the thing for the other achievement, which is... Have to buy the picture of Naughty. Do this before you give anything to Mary. Who the fuck is Mary again? Am I even invited to the parade? Yeah, I hope so too. Okay, uh... Mary, Mary, Mary. Oh, good, good. Mary's gotta be the rhinoceros then. We hadn't even met her. Alright, we gotta buy the picture of Naughty. Okay. <laughs> Hello, detective. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but if you, may if you may remember, I'm Grace. I made this game with my studio, Worm Club. I was tracking your progress when I noticed you spent your money on a picture. You've really complicated things for me. See, there's only five money in this game. In order to solve the mystery, you need all five money, but you spent three money. So now what? If I was anyone else, I'd end the game here. However, I'm very generous and kind. I'm going to give you another three money so you can solve the mystery. This comes from my own pocket, so please don't spend on anything that isn't relevant to the story. I'll let you get back to it. And yes, you can keep the picture. Yeah! Alright, we got Big Spender. So now we just gotta complete the notebook, lie, and tell the truth. Okay, and I believe that's everything for him, too. Okay, yeah, this is Mary. Yes, hi, Mary. Did I like your song? Nope, definitely not. I'm tired. Yo, me too, Mary! Three AM, that's the best time for singing. Oh god, holy shit. I need caffeine, the works the the fact that I went to work today is really hitting me. Okay. About the wizard. I wonder if it actually was Ralph. That would be really funny if the other guy guessed it. Also, I'm sorry I'm not reading anymore. My freaking, uh, my t I guess what this would be, my tonsils are kind of like tight right now, so I don't really want to make any, uh, any funny noise. He wa <laughs> she wants to extort me and she's above the law. Nice. Mm -hmm. 
I love a woman with a solid disregard for authority. Seriously, though, Blizzy. She's gonna, and she's like, hey, I'm sorry I have to extort you, but I want to go to basically Hollywood and become a star. It's Froggy Wood. <laughs> it's okay. We all get extorted every now and then. Is extorting me. I have never been extorted before. I have never been extorted before though. What a thrill. Oh, that's who I forgot to talk to. Okay. Also, I don't know if you can get all the achievements on one run of this game. We might have to... Because I think, I think the last two achievements we would need would be a split path. Oh my god. The most famous band of all time, the Market Buddies. <clears throat> bunch of fish though that's gonna be great I hope they actually animate that yes building supplies good I was like I thought I had talked to everyone but I forgot to talk to naughty Long snoot. What a what a great note to add at the end. If they don't move like Big Mouth Billy Bass, I don't want them. True, true. These are the facts, Nova. Oh my god, that's her. It's the woman from the photo. Yeah!
What? Well, hold up. Why? Why is her house relevant? I don't have any friends to call. Sad. Yeah, she has a phone. I don't know what I'd do with the phone, though. There, get the hell out of here. I didn't think extortion would work so quickly. I'm good at being extorted. Okay, postman dropped off a parcel. Around the time the parade got destroyed, couldn't see who was giving it to, but it was someone here in town. Uh, Barney is the postman's name. He's a chill dude. I don't think he'd mind if you called him up. They have his number. Okay, there we go. That is why. I forgot we were getting a phone number from her. That was what she promised us. a save but oh oh um oh uh, i don't want to mm, i'll have to save at some point we'll save you know what just because i want to save before we have to maybe make any split decisions i'll save and then reload hopefully letting me come back to that of course Okay. Oh, wait, that's right. Rats. Ooh, Noodle. I think, wait, was Noodle from the first game? I think so. Lola. Blue dress, fuck. Okay, so it's pretty obvious who it is. Responsible driver had me on speaker. <laughs> Who? 
Who was it that bought stuff from Wizbay? Hi, lady. And she doesn't have any extra text. But she said that it went with her other outfit. If you quit hanging with the Cyber Squad, <laughs> you know what this was worth. Dang. Let's go. Let's go. One away from two years. Hell yeah, Shoji. Thank you for the 23 month resub on the six month streak, by the way. <laughs> I hope you're doing good today. Oh, what is this? Spectacles. You're much better. That's awesome to see. Well, awesome to see and hear, I guess. I was gonna say awesome to hear, but I technically can't hear you, and that really threw me off for a second there. I'm like, huh, what would the normal person answer be for that? Let's see. A dog. This was all over glasses though i think got out on time for once so feeling good plus most of my covid symptoms have vanished oh thank goodness you're regaining your taste and smell oh my god no so you lost that too that is awful and i'm so sorry like on it like that's when like, it was driving me insane y'all know how much i love my white monster i couldn't taste anything and that shit was driving me insane i wanted to taste the sweet nectar there's the Invisa Wizard. My glasses, I can't see without my glasses. Oh, did you guys see that they're making like a, a Velma Dinkley series and it's actually gonna be like kinda gory? Everything tasted like bile and acid reflux. Yeah, I'm familiar with those tastes. Yep, yep, that sounds about right, Joji. God, I'm glad you're at least better, though, because that kind of stuff is, especially when you're working with food, it's not good.
<laughs> okay. Hey, Mac! How are you doing? It's good to see you. Here to solve a different mystery. Which one? It only to surprise you, but the town was setting up a parade for you. Yep. Okay, and then the vandalization. Oh. Doing fine, cold AF though, prepping something to eat. Ooh, what are you prepping? Cold AF though, jealous. It is so hot that my, um, an LED screen on my dashboard, uh, cracked from the inside today. And it costs $700 just for the part to get it new because it's attached to the odometer. And so like, if you get a used one, your mileage won't be correct unless you know how to reprogram it. Oof indeed, and I just got the AC fixed too. There's an evil guy. Aren't you making this up? Evil dude is really my enemy. Don't you mean evil guy? Is he even real? So the wizard stumbled into everything on the way back from dropping the glasses. That's dumb. What's this game about? We are Frog Detective. That is game. We played the first one. This is the second one. I, I was doing some reading earlier, but my voice is kind of fucked at this point. Um, technically, it's the visible wizard now. Invisible lizard. Yeah, it was a good joke. I thought so. This is such a long dialogue scene, right? <laughs> I love how they have no animated cutscene. They use the idle animation, so just wham. Sorry, it's just stone face staring. Yeah, no kidding.
I hope it wasn't me. My money was on Mary, though, just because she's trying to skip town, but I guess it was just coincidence. Those are the ones I really wanted. They look amazing. <laughs> I really do. Plus, Naughty tried to vacuum you up, and I feel like the parade being destroyed is kind of fine. Damn. I thought she was a ghost. That's what they all say. Just vehicular manslaughter. I can't believe Barney's here, too. Oh, you're right, it's attempted. She lived. You're right, you're right. No, you right though, Nova. It ain't no big mouth Billy Bass. Mary throwing it back. Oh, you missed it, Shoji. In the first game, Larry the Lobster did the single ladies dance. I thought that was great. Yeah, we got expert investigator. No, oh, it's save and quit. Damn it. Wait. It's save and quit. What happens if we don't save and quit to get the other ending? And then tab out the waifu cups because there's no way I'm getting one. Oh, yeah. It's big brain time. <laughs> oh yeah, it's big brain time. Oh no, it's saved. Cry. Damn, literally the only we have to replay the whole game just to tell the truth. I mean just a lie. Alright. And this is going to tease the next game. I'm 
so glad crime isn't real. Didn't you get extorted earlier? I think that's a crime. Yeah, F indeed. I was, I was, I was really thinking that was going to work. Ooh, we get to work with Lobster Cop in the next case. Is it that dude that's been in the background for the last two games? I'm pretty sure that's that that weird dude, the really pale guy that like scared the shit out of me in the first game. Look at the little sea snake conductor, I love or engineer, I love him. Worm is best engineer, right? Look at him. I love that. I love that when games immediately announce a sequel like that at the end of the game. It's so good. I mean, you know, of course, assuming that they actually follow through with it. Small train. Low poly train. Of course, it's small. <laughs> Didn't Kalahari Desert teach you anything? Or Calamari Desert. wonder where it starts us off at. Later at the station. Okay. Oh no. I think it takes us back to the menu. Good news is it won't take us too long to get that last achievement. Speed run time. Oh yeah, it's speed run time. Announce a new game with the title LMAO got him. No, don't do that to me. Have everyone wonder if it's uh real or not. 
Honestly, if it's this game, I would believe it. If it wasn't, then I wouldn't. Can I skip this? Can I skip this? Can I skip this? Please let me skip this. Shut up, Larry. Oh wait, this is Lobster Cop, it's not Larry. Fill the notebook with nothing but eyes. I think I only have like four of them. There's only so many stickers. Otherwise, I totally would have. I would have been much more creative with my first one if I didn't have like limited stickers. No way to skip cutscenes. All right. You can't skip the writing either. Am 
Oh yeah, the glasses aren't just there at the beginning. That sucks. <laughs> Honestly, the main thing about this is just gonna be talking to everyone to get their their wants and their pages and then getting those pies. one time you scared me with that yeah but you know you have to wonder if the more you do it the more i'm expecting it <laughs> uh about the wizard i think that's the one that gives me what i need What the fuck? Oh god, I guess I'm allergic to bullshit for real though. Allergic to the FBI. Yeah, stop gathering my information. at you. You're gonna go to bed. All right, Blizzy. Have a good night, okay? It was nice seeing you. And I'll see you tomorrow, obviously. Bye. I didn't want to hang around you chum guzzlers anyway. Fine.
talk to everyone except for Adi and the deer. <laughs> All right, Shoji.
How's the detective life? Oh, it's good, Blacklight. I hope you're doing good. Um, what's it called? We finished this game already. Uh, face reveal. You know, it's funny. I actually, uh, more times than not, I usually have a camera on, but during the, the time that the internet was kind of shitty, I, um, I never really had it on. But yeah, so basically, um, we just played through Frog Detectives 1 and 2. We're currently trying to 100% the second game by getting the second ending, which is just a split path kind of thing. So we're actually having to do the entire thing over. Alrighty, so let's see. That's everything except for the rhino. Oh, the hook. We got to give the hook to her. I'm back to say, what the fuck is this clip, Kara? Which clip? <laughs> Playing Starbound? Shit. I have no idea. Hang on. <laughs> it says really out of context, so I'm really worried. All right, let's see. Let's see what it says. Oh, wow. Makes no sense. Yeah, uh, Blacklight. We got a lot of stuff like that. So, so that was me. And that's why I hate that it was like not the entire thing was clipped. I was saying I hate normal sized people. So if I had to be around tiny people, it's just worse. Basically saying that I hate kids. It didn't age well. Yeah, well, because when I may go to jail, I mean, because of manslaughter. But it doesn't sound that way, does it? <laughs> I, I need a real crucifix for moments like this. Okay, let's go get that phone number. That's so funny though. I honestly forgot all about that. Also, Starbound though. Half of everything on this channel does not age well, Carol. Yes, I know. How mostly because half of it says Spade Tail. <laughs> Yeah, quote 27, honestly, you know what's funny? I don't know how we're going to explain that one with context. Does the clip even exist? I know that the, the footage is definitely on the, the Caro Plus channel. Like, it's probably privated, but it's definitely there somewhere. No, 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 you don't need to look. It's all, no, no, it's all privated. You wouldn't need to look there. Oh, you can look for the clip if you mean on Twitch. But, like, I privated all the stuff on Caro Plus because I'm going to get into editing fairly soon. It's going to be pretty, pretty quick with those clips, though. It's just going to be mostly jump cuts and stuff. And then the fancy edits will be on the actual channel. Okay. Now we gotta go get the glasses.
And there are Doritos all over this fucking floor here. It's a wizard, an invisible wizard. Oh my gosh, it's the invisible wizard from the title. to lie. So, leave, yeah, because we got snitch. Now we got a lie. All right, who was it? It was evil guy who, oh my God, a nemesis, yes. Snuck in, he hates Lola. Unfortunately, because he is made of slime, he got away before I could apprehend him. Oh my gosh, so unfortunate. However, Lola has since cast a very special spell that will make sure he never returns. Wow, evil guy sucks. Yeah, I'm so sorry he did that to you, Lola. Exactly. Well, we couldn't apprehend the suspect. What a, what a sad moment. Oh, hey, Barney. I like I like how they acknowledge that the post office guy is here in this ending. All right, case solved. Well done. Thank you. Let's get the parade started. We don't have to fix up the... Fix, fuck, hold on. We didn't have time to fix up the decorations. I don't mind at all. I'm just happy to be here. Let's party. All right. I wonder if this is going to be any different. God, why can't Twitch just have a search bar for clips? God damn it. This is true. Also, no decorations, but here we are. 